Hey golf people, I've had a new putter in the bag, kind of on the down low, and today I'm actually going to reveal it. It's the new Cobra Sport 45. This is part of their vintage series. This is a toe balanced, sick face in a answer style with that little plumber's neck there. A beautiful Cobra Connect grip if you've got the Arco system and a whole lot more. If you have no idea what just came out of my mouth, no worries because I'm going to unpack all the technology and explain everything to you here on the show today. I'm going to show you why I think this putter is an incredible putter for those of you that have kind of an arcing putting stroke. So we're actually going to break down the putting stroke a little bit and I'm going to show you the results that I've had with this and on course for the last two months. Let's do it. It's an easy game. Now the thing that I'm most impressed with, with the entire new line of Cobra putters, and especially this Sport 45, because this is the style of putter that best suits me, is this sick face technology. Now you might have heard that Bryson DeChambeau plays a sick putter. Well, this is a sick face. It's that exact same technology. What that is, is descending loft technology. Most putters have a straight zero degree angle. This putter actually has a little tilt forward, meaning when you strike that putt, whether you hit it high, middle, or low on the face, you're gonna get that same nice overspin and some nice roll out of that. And I've actually noticed putting with this thing, you literally see the spin imparted to that right when you strike the ball. Now this putter has great weighting to it. It actually has two 20 gram weights at the bottom. I happen to love that it sits down and gives me that nice strong center of gravity down to the floor there. So I really like the way it's set up out of the box, but there is a weight kit available so you can change these weights and customize them to your needs. Now this putter is also going to be toe balanced. And here's how you can test if your putter is face balanced or toe balanced. Literally take a finger, balance the putter on one finger, okay? And you're going to see, once you get the balance point, you'll see that this toe is actually facing a 45 degree angle. Okay, a 45 degree angle. If this was a 90 degree angle, here's the 45 degree angle. Hopefully you can see that on camera. So this putter best suits someone who has a little bit more of an arc to their putting stroke. Some people take a very straight back and straight through stroke. That's my normal stroke. But some people also take more of an arcing stroke. In fact, Tiger Woods, he was famous for a little bit more of an arcing stroke, especially on his longer putts. So this is going to be really good for longer putts and I've actually drained some pretty big ones. Now on the other hand, here's a face balance putter and this was the Cobra Ajera that you saw me test on the show a couple months back. If we find the balance point of this putter, you'll see that the face is parallel to the ground. It's pointing straight up at the sky, okay? That means it's face balance. This is gonna be great for people who take it straight back and straight through. Now, if you're unsure if you take more of an arcing motion or more of a straight back, straight through motion, and you might be surprised, by the way, even if you think you know, one easy way to test this is simply to lay a putter down on the ground next to you or a club next to you straight, and we're gonna see how this works. If that putter comes straight back and straight through, then you know that's your type of stroke. However, if that putter takes more of an arcing motion, you take it inside and then it squares back up and then comes back inside like that. That's how you know that you've got more of an arcing stroke. And again, the Sport 45 is gonna be best suited for people who have that arcing putting motion. So it's a little superstitious, but one of my tests of a putter is that first putt. The first putt that I take out and strike out on course, does it go in or out? This was my first putt here at Carrollwood Country Club. The first time I took it out on sanded bumpy greens. I didn't know they had just punched the greens that day. This was the first putt I took on the first hole right over here at Meadow. Wow, gotta say that is an incredible start. 
I will take a birdie here. I have not had one in this hole in a very long time. So yeah, that was a really good start. I actually made a number of putts that day and I've continued to make a number of putts with this thing. And I've had very few three putts. Now the other thing this putter has is that Arcos grip. So if you've been thinking about getting into the Arcos system where you can track all your shots, you get all of those post round stats, you've got a map and a course view of everywhere you've been and every shot you've taken on the course, that's pretty cool, all right? So that's built into this grip. It's got an oversized grip, but it's not like crazy oversized. It's just nicely oversized. And for someone like me who has big hands, this is a very good match to my putting stroke. It's got great tackiness. You know that I'm out here in the Florida humidity. You probably see the sweat on my face right now. That's because it's really hot, even though it's eight in the morning. And in a humid environment, this is a nice tacky putter. I got a nice strong grip with it, okay? So there are a couple negatives to this putter. I always like to show you the good and the bad here. One negative is that you kind of get some particles in between like where the face meets the body of this putter. So you get a little grass in there, a little dirt, some sand if you're playing a sanded green. You want to make sure you keep these grooves on the putter clean just like you'd clean the grooves of your wedge. It's really important with these sick faces because they've got all these horizontal grooves running through them. The other thing I love is this matte black PVD finish. But as you can see, I've been using this putter for a couple of months. I've kept it in the head cover, but it's probably banged a couple of clubs. And you can see when it, when it bangs a club, you get a little discoloration there. You see that uh, more shiny metal come through. So over time, I'm just not sure how this finish will hold up. But again, that does not affect performance. And some people might say, hey, that gives your putter character. You see some of those scars there, and that means it's yours. So for what it's worth, those are the two negatives I see about this putter. But apart from that, man, it's really solid. Now, some of you know that I play the Sax Parente, and will it replace my Series 66 from Sax? That I'm not 100% sure about. I want to go head to head with these things out on course very soon. But what I can tell you is in the two months that I've been gaming this putter, I've made a whole heck of a lot of putts. And I've really enjoyed it. By the way, this entire range of new Cobra putters, both their 3D printed ones as well as their vintage series and everything that Cobra makes is available at playbetter.com, the sponsor of this show and this episode. I get all my golf technology and some of the golf clubs that you see on this show right from the fine folks at playbetter.com. They are my favorite store on the internet with their 60 day no hassle return policy. They've got free shipping within the continental United States and they've literally got the best prices that I've ever found on the internet. These guys are salt of the earth. That's where I'd recommend you get your golf technology. All right, so it's final verdict time. What do I think about this putter? I think this putter to me is a full five out of five stars. You saw that I didn't quite get along with the Ajera. I really liked the roll that the sick face gave it, but it just didn't suit me with longer putts. And you heard me on that show say, I really love the face. And if I could have that in an answer style, that would be maybe the perfect putter for me. Well, this one is it, all right? It's not 3D printed, but I really love the heft of this thing being made out of steel and not any of those plastic components. And I really do love that sick face. So if you enjoyed this one, let me know down below. Let me know if you've ever tried a sick face putter or one of these new Cobra putters. I'd love to find out. And while you're down there, if you haven't already, please do hit subscribe because that really does help the channel. I hope you enjoyed this one and I hope to catch you back here very soon on another edition of Let's Play Through. Ooh, ooh, ooh.